Hey gang, it's your buddy Platt, and today I show you how to make strawberry liqueur. So let's go. All right, guys, it's been a minute since I've made any homemade liqueur, and I'm dying to get back at it. And so today I thought I'd get back at it with a real simple recipe. This is going to be about as easy as anything we do. We're going to make a little strawberry liqueur. Recently, I was in the local liquor store, and I noticed you could find all kinds of flavored liqueurs out there. If you like raspberries, there's razzmatazz, chambord. If you like orange liqueur, there's the different uh, carousels and triple six and Grand Marnier's. All kinds of just different flavors. If you love melon liqueurs, there's Midori. A lot of options out there, but you don't see a lot of strawberry liqueurs out there. And so I thought today we'd make some strawberry liqueur. Everybody loves strawberries. Just the flavor pairs well with so many different things and probably could be used in a ton of different cocktails. So today we're going to make a little bit of strawberry liqueur. We're going to shoot for about one pint total volume. Uh, apologize if you hear the bird in the background. He hadn't made an appearance in a video in a while. Uh, real quick, let's go over what we need to make our uh, strawberry liqueur. Pretty simple. First and foremost, we're going to need some vodka. As I've said in these videos before, don't go crazy with the vodka. Just a good, clean vodka. Sky is good enough for our purposes. Uh, if you want to bump up the ABB, you can go the Everclear route. But this is kind of meant to be like a kind of lower alcohol shooter style liqueur or a complimentary spirit in a cocktail. So we're aiming for 40 proof. So that's why we got the... Uh, Vodka. You're going to need just some regular table sugar, cane sugar. Again, if you want to experiment, you know, if you want to go agave or honey or other, feel free, but this, this is just going to make your life simple. And then you're going to need eight ounces of strawberries, fresh strawberries, you know, wherever you can find your grocery store. If you like going organic, go crazy. These are just regular store bought grocery stores or, or, <laughs> regular grocery store bought strawberries. Sorry about that. And finally, you want a one. The bird, the bird agrees. Uh, you want a one quart uh, jar to kind of help infuse uh, the strawberries. So with that being said, let's get to making some strawberry liqueur. Okay guys, you can tell I've been cutting up some strawberries. I just want to show you the procedure real quick. You want to make sure first and foremost to de-stem these things. You don't want, you know, throwing off any off flavors or any kind of dirt. I gave them these a quick wash, even though we're soaking them in vodka, you want to kind of give them a quick wash. And then all I'm going to do to prepare them is just uh, cut them in half and then in quarters. Now one of the things you want to look for is uh, you want to make sure you have ripe enough strawberries. There's still a lot of white in these. Uh, they may have been picked a little young, but not too bad. But you want to keep an eye out for that and make sure you get nice ripe presently ripe strawberries unfortunately they get kind of picked ahead of time uh before they're ripe uh just to survive the store shelves but anyway i'm gonna cut all these up into quarters and we're just gonna place them in a little infusion jar and then we're gonna take a cup and a half of vodka and just cover them up ah it's perfect put the lid on let's give this a shake and we're going to let this sit for 48 to 72 hours, and then we'll come back to strain. So I'll see you guys in a couple of days. All right, gang, it's been a couple of days. You can see we've got a real nice uh, pink color to our uh, infused strawberries. So it's time to go ahead and make our simple syrup. This is pretty straightforward. This is what's going to sweeten our uh, liqueur and also kind of cut down the alcohol we're going to go from 80 proof to around 40 proof so i've got one cup of water in uh, my little pot here you can bring it to boil i've just brought it up to simmer just enough heat to where that sugar really incorporates and we're going to add one cup of sugar do there and we're going to stir that in make sure it completely blends in we want the liquid clear uh, I know some out there are going to say, well, oh, gosh, it seems like a lot of sugar or whatever. Well, it's the sugar that makes this a liqueur and not just a uh, strawberry-infused vodka. So it is kind of important. Uh, my little uh, suggestion to you is always keep the ratio one-to-one. -one. one part sugar, one part to water. No matter how large or small you scale up this recipe, one-to-one -one is just fine. So I'm going to get this all blended in, and then we'll come back while we let this cool to filter out our strawberries. 
All right, guys, time to uh, filter our uh, strawberry vodka. Just got a fine little fil uh, colander here, wide mouth jar. Uh, if you are worried about too much particulate matter being in there, whatever, you could put like a layer of cheesecloth in this. To me, this is a fine enough mesh, and if I got a little bit of strawberry in there, well, I'll, I'll, live, with, <laughs> I'll live with that. So let's filter our strawberries. All right. Now, real quick, I want you to notice how much we've taken out the color, the water, and how these strawberries are broken down to show over two days. You can leave fruit in too long in an infusion. Uh, some fruits break down faster than others. So if you're ever unsure, you know, just always do the taste test, but you can leave fruit in too long. So don't forget about it. So we got everything filtered. I'm going to add our syrup in and we'll come back to wrap up the video. All right, gang, that was a nice, simple recipe. Uh, something I think everybody can do fairly easy. Uh, real quick, let's kind of wrap up here. We took eight ounces of strawberries, diced them up. I quartered them, but you can you know, slice them, dice them, however you'd like. I infused them with one and a half cups of vodka. If you want to make this a little stronger, you could go with Everclear, uh, adjust accordingly. Uh, but I went with vodka. We let those strawberries and the vodka sit for two days, and we came back and made our simple syrup. One part sugar with one part water, <clears throat> about as simple as it could be. You can scale up or down the recipe, Oliver, but keep those ratios. We used one cup of water and one cup of sugar to make our simple syrup. While we were letting that cool, we strained off our strawberries and uh, we, we let the solution cool a little bit. A little bit. This is what we got. Uh, for the most part, fairly clear. I mean, I can see in the light some particles. I'm not personally worried about it. If you are, you could always use uh, cheesecloth to help filter it a little bit finer. So, now here is our moment of truth. Uh, let's give it a try. Oh, that's nice. Nice, pleasant, of course sweet, uh, but that works with strawberries. This is real nice. Uh, this is subtle, I will let you know. Strawberry is a little subtler flavor, so don't, don't expect to get hit over the head with the strawberry flavor. Um, you could, I guess, uh, add more strawberries, kind of, you know, try to cram in, you know, a, you know, a few more strawberries in there to intensify the flavor. Uh, something I talk, I used to talk about when I was doing cocktail competition with other bartenders, I like every flavor does not have to hit you over the head. And, uh, strawberry is one that's more of a complimentary kind of thing. But overall, really nice. Uh, we ended up producing almost 750 milliliters. This should be ABV wise, somewhere between 30 and 40 uh, proof. So it's gonna be on the lower end, but it'll be a fun little shooter and a complimentary uh, liqueur and cocktails. Speaking of which, a couple suggestions for that. Um, if you're at home making like a lemon drop, lemon drop martini, instead of the triple stick, give this a try. Really switch up the flavor profile a little bit. Or if you got you know, iced tea or an Oliver Palmer, throw a little bit of this in there. Sweeten your tea. Everybody loves sweet tea. More importantly, it gives a little extra oomph and that strawberry. It's just a nice complimentary flavor. Uh, again, it's not going to dominate, but it will uh, supplement the flavor. Uh, as far as how long this is good for, this should be good for months and months. You can keep in the fridge. You don't have to. That's up to you. You know, if you like drinking stuff cold or not that that's up to you but this should be good minimum at least three months and hopefully it doesn't stick around that long well i hope you like this video and if you did please subscribe down below also please like the video because it lets youtube know we're putting out good product if you have any questions comments concerns or ideas for videos please leave them in the comment section or you can always contact me on the twitter page till next time bottoms up